Hi everybody. I'm sure you have seen on Instagram there has been so many photos lately and little videos of people using the um, collage albums from Collage Soup. There's, I don't know how I've gone this long and not known about them and now all of a sudden they're everywhere. And with good reason, like the pictures in there are so cool. Now this is one I ordered. I had a really hard time trying to decide which one to get because the only thing I don't like is when you're trying to pick out a book there on Amazon there's no additional photos of like inside the book to get an idea. Like I would love it if there was a video that gave like a quick flip through. Like not that quick but <laughs> You know, so you could get a peek inside to see if it's your style or not. Because it's kind of hard. Like, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Literally. So this one I found, there's a lot of images in it I love, but there's also a lot that's not my, not my style. Like, I don't see me using it unless I can think of a clever way to use them. So I thought I would give a somewhat quick flip through of them. So this one is called Chronological Disorder. And like, I love, this is what drew me to it was these colors and how it's a bit quirky and likes it all the color. But now this doesn't appeal to me at all. And even as pretty as that is, I know I wouldn't use it because it's more vintage and delicate and I like the more colorful and funky or quirky. So the beginning of the album is not really me. And this is where I definitely like have to find a different way to use it. Like it's beautiful and I can see people doing amazing things with it. Like this would look amazing with Tim Holtz stuff but it's just not, it's not me. It's not what I'm going to do, and I know that. But I might be able to figure out a way to, I could probably find a way to use a cowboy. <laughs> so, we'll see. Like, I love the colors. But I don't see me being able to use this. And another thing that bothers me a little is that there's print on both sides. I mean, it doesn't bother me with this because I don't like it. <laughs> but like when it comes to pages where like I love the image and then I look at the back and it's like, oh no, I love that image too. That is hard. There must be two of this one because I thought I used it. I'm trying not to be, try not to go too slow. But yeah, like maybe this because there's color, but so far this is not, I like this one. Love that. But everything else so far is like, no thank you. And I love that. So it won't bother me to cut it up because I'll never use what's on the other side. Again, love that, don't care. Now I think we start getting into, yeah, more of the stuff that I do like. Because we have color. Like, I love the bright colors. Love it. Not so much. Like, I don't see me really using this, but I love her. And maybe I could cut it some of it, like, and use it. And I love the color. 
love the cats. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the cats are just so fun. Don't care for either of those. Love that. No. No, I don't even see me using these. So I probably didn't pick the best book for me because a lot of this I don't see me using. But I'll find ways to, like, because there's something in the images that I like. Like, I love this. I love that. Oh, see? That's what I mean. I would want to use that, and then I'm going to have to cut that up. love this too. So while there's images in here that I do love, there's more that I'm not a fan of. So I would not have picked this one for me, but I can see so many people that would absolutely love. See, I like the quirky. That would absolutely love this book. Like people who do Tim Holtz or the vintage -y, stuff and the distressed looking stuff like this is gorgeous for that absolutely gorgeous or if you're into both like you do the vintagey and then you dabble in the quirky as well this will be great these are because I've been already playing with this these are some pages that were torn out that I tore out like love all the color just that I'd share it so you could see you know more color the cat face. <laughs> like, I love this color. Like, this is fun. This is really cool, too. It hurt to cut this up. I'm not sure how I would have used it, but I just love the image so much. And yes, I like this more than I like that. <laughs> I like their music, but I don't want to collage about them. <laughs> Even the softer colors are very pretty. Now one thing I did find, and I was quite surprised by it, that's where I cut the cat's face from, um, I use a combination of the Tombow tape runner and glue stick, like I'll do a couple runs with the tape runner and then do the glue stick. Um, tape runner won't stick to this. There is like you can feel there is a bit of a slippery surface it doesn't quite feel like a magazine but there is something on it and uh, first I thought my tape runner was broke love this too and um, so I kept trying I was trying to fix my tape runner and so then I tried it on a piece of paper that wasn't this surface and it worked tried it again on this wouldn't work so it won't work on this. And I even like applied the tape to my journal and then tried taking a piece of this and sticking it onto my journal and it would not stick. Glue stick works perfectly fine, but the tape runners won't. Must be too slick of a surface, I guess. So anyway, that's this album. And please don't take my saying I don't like it. And it's not that I don't like it. The images are beautiful. It's just not for me. It's not my taste. But there are still images in, in here that I absolutely love. So I'm not putting down the book. The book is beautiful. And while these images aren't for me, like not all of them, but some of them are not for me, they are definitely going to be loved by many people. It's just not my style. So, I was talking with, I think it was Emily I was talking to. Yes, it was. And I was telling her, um, I, 
you know, how I'd like to be able to see more of inside the book so I could better pick a book for myself because the one I picked wasn't quite my style. And I asked if she had any recommendations and these are the ones she recommended. Now I haven't looked through them yet. She just sent them to me. They arrived today. So I am, this will be my first time seeing it too. And like I have a wish list on the go <laughs> on Amazon of the which books I want to try. So I'm very curious but also afraid to look inside. <laughs> I told her what I was looking for and this is what she recommended so hopefully she she got me. <laughs> I mean, a lot of it looks really good. So I'll probably end up turning the pages a bit slower in this one because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm already loving this album so much more. But that's going to... Oh, no. <sighs> See, this is what I don't like about it being on both sides gonna be hard to choose. <laughs> this is fun and quirky. See, while I may be liking this, other people are gonna be like, oh my god, no. <laughs> we all have different tastes. But this is fun. She chose well. And it's colorful. <laughs> Fun. I love fish. I don't know what it is, but I do. Hee <laughs> hee, I got fish. <laughs> yes, she chose very well. Oh my goodness. That's pretty. They'll look nice in a frame. Ooh. Yeah, this is way, way better. For me. <laughs> Some of it is really odd, but I mean, to me, that's what collage is. That's the kind of collage I like. Oh my. Freaky. We definitely have some oddities in here. <laughs> I love that. I think I would seriously frame that. <laughs> oh my, I'm weird. <laughs> this creeps me out a little for some reason. Freaks me out. Hmm. I love that. Love it. Trying to go a bit faster. Creepy. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my. <laughs> like that. It's definitely some weird stuff in here. <laughs> like the birds too. Yee, yeah, I don't like that. But the eyes are cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, she did a good, this is a good pick. It's all colorful. This, oh. See, this could be framed too. So pretty. <gasps> I love that. This is a good one. I like this one. Okay, so that one <laughs> makes you go, hmm. Yes, yeah, some of it definitely does. Okay, this one, Stranger Than Fiction. I don't know how it can be stranger than that last one. But we'll see. Notice the different sizes, too. What size that is, just in case anybody asks. I was gonna guess eight by eight. Yeah, it's about eight and a quarter. By eight and a quarter. I think this is just regular eight by eleven. Eight and a half, yeah, by eleven. Oh, I wanted a bit of black and white. I like that. I like mushrooms and skulls. Mm, not feeling it so far. That's pretty. I like this. Okay, it's getting better. Yep. Love that. Love this too. Okay, it's getting way better. It's just the first few pages, not fond of. Or just the style. But I'm liking all the rest. Fun. Fun, fun. Hee <laughs> hee. This is great too, like if you don't want to take um, paint supplies and stuff, like you could create, just bring glue and scissors and a journal and you could just cut apart this and create. I really like that. <laughs> don't care for that so much but I can cut up pieces on this one and not care about the back whereas there's other people that would love this side <laughs> and zoom out a little bit because this book is a bit bigger see I like this weird stuff <laughs> love all the mushrooms there's another book she has. I think it's Flower Power. It looks like it probably has some beautiful botanicals. I like this. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my. Pretty. Love the stripes mixed with the flowers. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love that. This is gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Love that. I'm loving on the straights. She did a much better job picking books for me than I did picking for myself. <laughs> That's fun. That's pretty. Not for me, but it's so pretty. Again, distress. It reminds me of like Tim Holtz. I'll be using that side. That is very pretty. Love. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> he. <laughs> what do I have with fish? Is a fish or a lizard? They look like fish, but then they look like lizard. <laughs> I thought about this one too. Pet Nanigans. That one looks like it might have fun pictures in it as well. I haven't seen that one, Sticks and Stones. I don't think that one would be for me though. And that's the other one I just showed you. Ooh. Download this freebie and more. We also have over 20 titles for only 99 cents each. So if you go on their website, they have some that you can print as well. So, I hope that helped in you making a decision. I guess it only helped if uh, it's your style. But... I mean, you saw vintage ones in this one, if you like the vintage stuff, so. Anyway, at least you'll know what these three are like. So. Well, now I want to play. <laughs> Bye.